Today, I want to talk to you about what you're doing to build a security-minded culture. Now, this is something that I've looked at extensively. I wrote a book, it's called The Complete Guide to Building an Information Security Program. And within that book, there's a whole section that really talks about building a security-minded culture in your organization. As security professionals, we all know that the biggest weakness that we face within our security programs are our end users or those resources across the enterprise, right? So taking a look today just about what can be done to build that security-minded culture. As always, I'd love to hear any stories, any feedback from this uh, in the comments below this video about what you're doing to drive that security-minded culture, things that you've done where you've actually seen a shift in your organization, where you're starting to see resources start coming to you a lot more saying, hey, I just didn't quite feel right about this. I'm not sure if it's a security concern or you know, if it's something that I need to be worried about, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. You know, I love to see those things happening in an organization because it means that what we're doing as security professionals in driving that security-minded culture is really taking hold in the organization. And in some organizations, this is a big culture shift and there's many things that need to happen and it's just gonna take some time and some repetitiveness before this can really be seen across the enterprise. So some of those things always link back to training. You know, what type of training are you doing in your organization? You know, obviously there's annual training requirements to make sure that people are staying up to speed on what the latest security incidents are, um, things of that nature, how it affects them in their business, what's really happening from the security posture in the organization, how you're governing those security uh, components that really affect how they're doing their day-to-day -day operations. And there's a lot of things that can go into that training that often get overlooked, which really limit the effectiveness in driving that security-minded culture, right? How present is your security program day-to-day -day across your organization? Are you utilizing things such as security posters or security screensavers? Uh, that just kind of say, hey, make sure you remember to lock out or just funny kind of silly posters that come up that just kind of keep it in everybody's back of their mind that security is critical to protecting the organization and it, their reputation. So there's a lot of components that can go into that, fun games that can be played, uh, all of these type of things that really help in keeping security top of mind and that repetitiveness is what can drive that security-minded culture. So I'd love to hear about what you're doing in your organization to help drive that security-minded culture, ideas you may have that you're looking to test or get feedback on. Make sure you leave your stories and comments below in this video and make sure you sign up to become a member. We have a free membership area that provides a lot of just kind of downloadable tools and resource that can help you in your initiatives. If there's things you're looking for specifically, make sure you reach out and we'll do our best to provide those out to the community. So again, make sure you leave all of your comments and stories below and I can't wait to hear from you.